Good evening, everybody. It's the second leg of the FIBA Europe Cup semi-final here in Istanbul in the Orca Sports and Event Hall as Veresi bring a one-point lead to Istanbul. It's pretty much a winner on the night will make it to the final. Both teams know what it's like to make a Europe Cup final in the inaugural 2016 version of this championship. Veresi with the beaten finalists in 2022. Bashahira College were the FIBA Europe Cup champions. What a game one we had last week. 11 lead changes, 11 point margin for uh, Bakshahir College during that game. But Beresi found a way to slow down the Istanbul club, keep them to 10 points in the fourth quarter and come away with the one point victory. So a winner take all back to the wall game for both ball clubs and the prize, a place in the final of the FIBA Europe Cup. Big crowd in the arena. One of the biggest and most well-known theatres of basketball in Europe. Ashira College and Varese have their struggles in their domestic leagues, both really on the wrong end of uh, things since Christmas. Ashira College only winning twice since the turn of the year. Varese have the three wins, but both sit outside the playoffs. Both coming off losses, but that is just history. That is just what's going on at home. This is the FIBA Europe Cup semi-final. And both teams see the prize, touching distance, one game away. We're just about to get into individual player introductions. The second and the third ranked points per game teams in this competition. Expect this to be up-tempo. Expect teams to want to make plays. But as we found in the first leg, the team that can get the stops is the team that will come out as the victor. So player introductions and expect Bereze to get the normal Istanbul welcome as they'll take the floor. But with Nico Mannion, and his team with so much experience across the roster, still a relatively young roster. They're not going to be phased by the big event. It's one of the events, the nights that you play this game for. So to stay in outside, not that he has to whip it up the enthusiasm. I would like to introduce the visiting king, Italian Varese. Number four. Varese will be introduced. Nico Mannion only played seven games in this FIBA Europe Cup, but averages 14 points a game, had 15 of five assists in the first leg, and really did lead his team but struggled from the three-point line only going one from seven really is important that they get contributions across the roster david moretti also at 17 points in that game last week eight guys on that Moretti team will play in double digit minutes normally but just listen to the noise as the home team, Bahashir College, will take to the floor. College, the champions from two seasons ago. Three guys on this roster. And they're led up by one of them, Carl Tell, Osmlak, and Mohamed Begul. Both played two years ago, as did Burke Countdown. 
but as is this, this uh, the one in a lot of high level European basketball teams, the roster has gone through a lot of changes. But this roster is deep and talented and knows how to score. The most efficient team in the FIBA Europe Cup. Their field goal percentages are just phenomenal. They share the ball really well. Nearly 22 assists per game. Expect this to be fun to watch if the pressure doesn't get to either team. Barra just revisiting that game for last week as the players shake hands at the halfway line. We're going to get a quick look at the third team on the floor, the three officials, in a moment. And here they are, Mr. Ang Rogers from uh, Latvia, Mr. Prok from uh, Poland, and uh, Vladimir Yevtovich from Serbia to complete the officials, the commissioner for tonight's game. Murad matches Dili from Georgia. You can see him behind the three officials. And they take charge of, to this point of the season, the biggest night for these two clubs in the FIBA Europe Cup. Both want to make the big night. Both want to make the final. And literally, whoever gets the win is going to make the trip to the final. Just, as I say, revisiting last week's game. And the starting five for Varese is literally the same starting lineup that started the game last week with Mannion, Skylar Spencer, David Moretti, Sean McDermott, and Gabe Brown. Gabe Brown fouled out last week, really has to stay in the games on the road. You need all your assets available. And coach Thomas Bialowski will need Brown to be available for the whole of the game. Starting lineup for Bahashir College, Silly with uh, Tony Taylor, Scrub with uh, Kavanaugh and Boutier. Well, again, the same lineup that started last week on the floor again. And while they played well last week, they all feel they missed an opportunity, led by double digits during that game. And in the end, Varese pegged them back, and they got a little tentative in that fourth quarter. But a team that has only won twice since Christmas in the Turkish League in particular. If you're not used to winning, Closing out games is not straightforward. So, Varese hung around for long enough, really showed a lot of resilience, and made some huge plays in that fourth quarter. Won the fourth quarter 15 10 themselves for a team that scores 91 points per game, the second highest scoring team in this FIBA Europe Cup across the season. They struggled as well, but their defense in the end won the day. They get the win by only a point. But how important is that one point going to be? The beauty of two-legged basketball, the beauty of these nights. A tie on the night would give Varese the place in the semi-final. They won't be thinking that right now. They'll be thinking how they get the win, how they can secure and control their trip to the final. Bahashir College, don't forget, in the quarterfinal, they lost by 10 away in Portugal but came back with a big 36 point win at home. This team can light it up and score at speed and no better example than that than uh, Jeremy Boutier, the French centre. 10 points last week, 12 rebounds, sorry 13 rebounds, 12 of those defensive is a rock that this team builds its defence around. And there is Tom Razwinski, the head coach of Varese. And what a history Varese have. Multiple European champions in the 70s. 2016, it looked like they were breaking back into that level. Dejan Ledlich, the head coach of Bashahir College. 
vastly experiences an understatement. And Coach Radulic, well, he knows what he has to do. I think his issue is to keep things moving forward, to keep the tempo high, and to keep it the way this team really wants to play. If they get slowed down, that's going to really favor Berezi. So welcome to Istanbul, the Orca Arena. And Berezi in the black with the first look at the possession. Mannion has it out top. They've got to stretch the defense. Spin to the middle, nowhere to go, and kick deep on the clock. Five on the possession, whistle on the play. Scrub charge with the personal. Have him ready, put it on the floor, drew the contact. Mannion needs a pass, just about beats the five count. Puts it on the floor, little pick, short roll, inside, outside, the open three is good, and that is Verezi basketball. Inside, outside, share the basketball, Gabe Brown with the wide open look, knocks down the three. Scrub will move it on. Yeah, again, shares it. Taylor, who had a great game defensively last week. Gets to the inside and kicks. Scrub with the deep three, is good. Well, oh, both teams. Heavy scorers across the season, open out with Great ball movement, the open three. Mannion is going to have to have a game from beyond the arcs. Goes inside, ball's knocked away, chance to run. Ball is corralled in by Boutier. Scrub drops it into the block. Tough one off the glass is no good for Kavanagh. And Verlese will have a chance to run. McDermott will share it. And you moves it on. We're ready in the corner. Steps into the gap. Little one-legged floater is no good. And Kavanagh cleans up the mess. And Tony Taylor will advance the basketball. Yeah, goes to the far side of the ring. The sweet little reverse layup knocks down the two. That's too much in rhythm. McDermott moves it on, already comes off the screen, nowhere to go. McDermott, his feet set for three, is long. Defensive rebound again. The mess is cleared up by Tyler Kavanagh. Shrub takes the full screen, moves it on, gets it back. Goes hard down the middle, left hand off the glass for two. And by his own admission, Phil Scrub didn't and wasn't as productive as he normally is last week. Averages 10, averages uh, 12 points a game. Only had the two points on last week's game. Manny is going to take the blocking foul. Again, looking to penetrate, looking to be the aggressor. As you hear College have it on the sideline. The screen and present to the basketball. They'd have to go long. Sierra has it. Taylor gets into that little space between the three-point line and the keyway. Vitier can't get the three to drop. Mannion all over the defensive boards will advance it stops pops and knocks it down for three if you don't guard him he's gonna score nico Mannion with the three that'll be good for him really struggled to find his rhythm from the three-point line looked good on that one 
great rotation defense. He didn't go out of bounds. The referee's going to say it did, although he was inbounds, not sure. The referee just checks him, uh, checks himself. Team already get to the lane. Clo opens out. Ball. Yeah, the referee was out of bounds, so the ball is out of bounds. Ten seconds on the possession. Scrub will release. Can't get there. Yeah, going to work. Backs in with the lefty. Goes to the and is passing off. Foul on the penetration. So it will be end line possession. That's a battle. Spencer trying to hold his space, and there's the swipe down for the ball. Did a great job until then. Skyler Spencer will step out. Scott Eulanio checks in. Pretty much like for like in terms of size. Cabinet out top, moves it on. Scrub goes inside. He's getting a lot of touches. Mid range jump shot is no good. And Mannion drops to the glass and comes down with yet another defensive rebound. Drops it inside. Super pass. Timing was just out of the top draw. Ulano off the bench gets the two. Execution in the secondary break, just exceptional. And this is why both teams just fill it up points wise. Axel Boutier gets the little floater for two. Again, now inside, outside, extra pass, wide open in the corner for three is good. And Brown just dropped it. Great ball movement. Gabe Brown with the three. We've got an 11-9 lead, and this is really in rhythm, this game. Scrub drops it inside, inside, outside. Beach set for the three is good. And both teams again just dominating from the offensive end. Axel Boutier finished follows the two with the open three. Uh, if you like your basketball free scoring, this is where you need to be tonight. Moretti, feet set, he's short, defensive rebound. Axel Boutier will rebound the basketball, he'll push. Just goes all the way, draws contact. And uh, McDermott just got a call, a little bit complacent, I think. Didn't think he was going to carry on, gets hooked up, draws the contact. Gives the contact. And Nico Mannion will sit. Hugo Besson checks in. And what an impact Besson has had to this roster. Only played three games in the FIBA Europe Cup, but averaging six points per game 16 points per game sorry had 16 last week huge impact off the bench spent the first half of the season in Serbia with FMP average nearly 14 a game across the season there Therese in the half court 440 remains in quarter one Already steps back to the three. Feet set. Nothing but strength. Just textbook. Taylor looks inside. We'll skip it. Kavanaugh looks inside. That's a seal. That's how to make yourself big. That's how to hold your space. And Jerry Boutier. Look, he just holds and holds and holds his space. The help's got to come a little sooner if they're going to help. New 14. Tony Taylor from the three is off. Kavanagh again cleans up the mess. Scrub, feet set, fills it up. And if he struggled last week, he's not struggling this week, Phil Scrub. Knocks down the three from deeps, two from two from beyond the arc. Great ball movement again, Baresi 
need to pass. Nowhere to go, they're gonna call the travel. That's great defense. Everybody one pass away just stayed in the lane. But you can't just do that unless Boot Ciel plays the defense he did on ball. And often, well, you can't get a better example than last week's first leg. The defense of both these teams gets a little bit forgotten behind just the offensive firepower they put on the floor. Kavanaugh once gets a touch on the inside, seals to the baseline, looks to go to the middle. A little hesitation, a little spin back, takes the tough one, doesn't get it to go. Ciel on the glass. Good Ciel with the putback. They played good one-on-one -on -one defense in the block, but then didn't box out. Milanio will hand it off. Ready, moves it on. The three is short. And Barese a little slower on that possession. Tony Taylor comes soft off the screen. Little hesitation. Goes on the second move. Needs a pass. Kavanaugh for three is off. And Urano collects the defensive rebound. And Barese a chance to eat into the lead. Basson. That's the Boutier again. Build around the big man. And that's exactly what Bajer here at college do. Got to move your feet first. Gets position. Just owns the middle. Tony Taylor will sit. Ten on the possession. Mannion back in the game. To the corner, they go inside. Ulano with a fake, is blocked. Going to have to stay with the play. Gets off the glass and is fouled on the second effort. Well, the defensive breakdown was one thing. The recovery was great. But Ulano stayed with it. Will go to the free throw line. And really does need to tick it over right now. There's the first block. I don't think he knew it was coming, but then stayed with the play, drew the contact on the way up. And Dale picks up the personal. In the half court, but she hands it off. Defensive rebound pulled in. Mania will advance it. Puts it on the floor, goes baseline, wraps the pass. They offer it to Ulano, turns it down. Mania gets it to Ulano, mid range. Mania gets it back, moves it on. Brown will hand it off, deep on the clock. Penetration, great defensive effort again by here Really, everything that uh, Varese are getting, they're having to work from. Second move, extra step for two is good. Now Moutier again shows the range of tools he has in the locker. Great second move, Mannion to the glass, wraps it. Again, the closeout is at speed. Manion three in the corner is off. And a defensive rebound. And Basha here, College. Well, people talk about their offense. It's their defense at the moment that is building this five-point lead. Kel. Scrap moves, scrap moves it on. 
Pascal on the drive. George Kell drove hard. There's the foul. Gets to the ring and will get to the free throw line. Again, impact off the bench. Such a big deal. Scrub will sit down. It's a seven point lead with the free throws to come. It feels a little lot, little feels a little bigger. But it's just been so good at the defensive end in the last three or four minutes uh, by Hashahia College. The extra point is good. Mannion, they need to settle, they need to get something they want. Elena off the glass is fouled, he'll go to the free throw line. Great decision, take it down the gut of the defense. Don't settle, don't try and shoot your way out of this. Be aggressive. makes the second and cuts it to a six-point lead. Again, down the lane, and he is a handful. George Kell just attacked him. Unless you keep him in front of you, he is going to take it strong and does it again, slices through the show on the screen. No help, gets to the bucket. And this time, can't complete it, has to go to the free throw line. advance the basketball. Takes the ball screen, looks to turn the corner, comes back and kicks. The open three is good. And Besson is points. Five point game. Begul will get Basha here into the half court for the last shot of the first, first quarter. Kel off the bench, doesn't get the two to go. And that'll do it for quarter one. And Basha here have a 26 to 21 advantage at the end of the first quarter. There's the confirmation. Basha here with 26 to 21 first quarter. Both teams know how to score and really showed that in that first quarter. Ball movement was exceptional, but the five point lead is down to the quality of the Basha here college defense. Really did contain the ball, did a really nice job on the glass. So Basha here with 55 and 43 from the field. Crazy with only the Mannion made three. 20 and 50 uh, on the two, sorry. Only with the one, two. And it's the inside presence that's really given them that issue. Everything else is going to be pretty much level. The defensive effort of uh, Jerry Uziel, the way he holds the middle is just, as we said prior to the game, that's how Basha here College build their defense. Build it around him. He really does protect the ring. And that allows you to be very aggressive on the perimeter. And uh, if you have to say the uh, the real issue, the real difference that Verese have to have to come is how to break that defense down. 
Great start though, great start to the semi-final second leg. FIBA Europe Cup basketball here in Istanbul. And on the night, it's a five point lead and a four point lead over the tie for Bashehir College. They'll have possession of the basketball at the start of this second quarter. Ana will inbound and Kel will handle the rock. Penetration kick. Ana with the short two is good. There you go, Ana with the two. Only played two minutes last week, but uh, is averaging 14 minutes and six points a game across this BB Europe Cup season. Just demonstrates again the depth. A little bit of football. And for raising. Get a reset. Step back. The three is good. You must guard this team on the three point line. Well then say, give him that much separation. Kel, he is just instant offensive. Puts it on the floor. Gets a little separation on the step back. Second move off the glass is good for two. Every time he has touched the basketball since he has come on late in that first quarter, he has looked to threaten the hoop. Mannion. and say needs a pass, finds a pass. Besson looks for a little separation, goes inside. Uleno picks up the little messy pass but turns it over. The Bashir College have numbers. Kel backs it out, moves it on. And Begu. Anna looks at his options. Looks like he's going to try and put one up. Second move, gets to the far side of the ring for two. And left, Ulanio, literally for dead. Lost him on the first, second step. Time out for Varese in early in this second quarter, and they have really got to do a better job at containing the basketball. Both teams, in some ways, it's the same issue. It's just that Bashahir College are doing a really nice job at containing the basketball. And at the moment, Varese are struggling one on one to keep their man in front. Whether it be George Kell, since he's come into the game, he's been a real handful. But even then, you had the scenario with uh, Egerhan Arna just going to work, just feeling comfortable in, one, in a one on one situation. And the defense not quick enough to cut off that drive lane. And I will go to the free throw line for the extra. Average is 6.3 points a game. And this will give him five in this uh, in these minutes off the bench. That's a nine-point advantage for Bashir College. The race they have got to hang around here. They do not want to be on the road trying to come back from 15, 16 down here. Keep it single digits first half. Give yourself the opportunity to make the final in the fall. Man, it goes upstairs. And Brown just manufactures his body to get, make the two. Tough finish by Gabe Brown. Looking for the highlight, but happy to make the two. Taylor in the half court will move it on 
Begul just keeps things moving really nicely for Basha here. Wide open. Little step into the mid-range. Two is no good. And that's a rebound. Anna just going to work. Anna lines it up. Can't get the three to go. And Kavanaugh on the glass is just a workhorse. Three in transition is good. McDermott this time. And Baresi respond. The timeout. To the timeout now. Close it to four. Easy thing to analyze. Difficult thing to execute. The on ball defense. You cannot give Baresi time or space or allow separation. And on the last two or three possessions in transition, in particular, Varese have manufactured those situations. Asha here. Asha here, College. Their defense was the difference. When their defense steps back a bit, you see how potent Varese are. Great atmosphere in the facility. European basketball. European semi-final nights. Atmosphere's been great in the arena. A lot of noise from way before tip time. Basha here, college's turn to try and respond to that little momentum shift following the timeout. Taylor will advance the basketball. So yeah, back in the game. Looks to back in again. Stays on that left hand, gets a little space and deep. And they're going to call the travel. Let's take a look. Skylar Spencer holding his space. This time, there's the difference. Doesn't make a swipe at the ball. Gutierrez travels with no body to work against. Crazy chance to cut this to a one or a two-point game. Mannion fills the hard show. Turns down the screen. It's foul. Smart. They're going to call it on the floor. He tried to throw it up for the shot. Oh man, you're still only 23. I mean, it seems like he's been around for such a long time, just exploded onto the scene. It was always a much talked about junior. Played in the summit game in Portland as a junior. McDermott is hot. He is hot, getting hotter. Knocks down the three. We've got a one point game. You can feel the air just suck out of the gym as uh, they build on this momentum. They try and answer with a three their own. It's off. Agu can't get it to drop. Mannion has it. Chance to retake the lead for Varese. Mannion takes it, stops, pops. He's long. Begul going baseline. Needs a pass just about finds one. Gutierrez is the release. Repositions on the screen and rolls deep. Great rotation and great help. Moretti comes up with a steal, looks to push. And foul mid-court as uh, Begul takes one for the team. Scrub, and they've missed Scrub since he's been out. Scrub checks back in. Has eight points personal. Only has only played nine minutes of the 14 that have been played. Mannion. His feet. Oh, nice look on the inside again. Great roll. Felt the defense gets it back. 
Mannion goes inside, Ban the help, knocks it away. There was too much loop on the pass. Here's Scrub in transition. Do a nice job slowing the ball down. And Mannion literally just holds Jerry Boutsier. Watch this. Ball's in the air. Just wraps him. Not really sure about the uh, genuine attempt at the basketball, but uh, six one for the team. Bit of an easy two. Gabe Brown checks back in. Wouldn't say checks out. Off the glass, can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound inside, outside. The three is off and long. Tiao didn't hesitate on the three. There's the ball going out of bounds. They're going to get the ball back. Great effort again by Bashahir College. Scrub is not the receiving as they switch. Taylor comes off the ball screen. UTL dives. Taylor in the lane. Great pass. Just waited for the defense to unravel and rotate and found the open boot here at the ring. UTL with the two. Basha here, College with a three point lead. McDermott moves it on. Moretti is long for three. Great work on the glass again by Bashir here, College. UTL comes down with a rebound, gives it up. Scrub looks at his options and kicks. The open three off the pass is no good. And they're dodging bullets at the moment for AZ. Mannion doesn't like his options. McDermott steps to the side, is long from three. And the ball goes out of bounds and will stay with Varese. Tyler Kavanagh does a job on the glass. He has been all over it. Averages nearly six rebounds per game in the FIBA Europe Cup across the season. Moretti looks a little separate and Tiel is going to pick up his second foul on the reach. TL with uh, I think this is his second foul. There's the reach. Besson will check back in. Manion needs a pass. All the way out to Moretti for three. Uh, Bashir here, College dodged the three on that occasion. Shrub will look at his options. Taylor, Mannion guards him hard. Shrub has to stay with it. Gets the ball screen. The pick and pop. The ball never sticks with his team. Etiel's going to take the long two and drains it. Etiel. Feet set, no one guarding him, just fills it up, back out to a five-point margin, needs a pass, finds one. Besson drops it inside, Gabriel can't handle it. Ball goes out of bounds and will go back to Varese. Abutiel only has the one foul, so understandably will not leave the game. I think the phrase is, watch out, watch out, George is about as Kale comes back into the game. It's instant threat, instant offense, George Kell. Oh, instant offense, understatement. As Moretti knocks down the three. Kale has it. Takes the ball screen. Tiel. Just pops for a long two, back to back in twos. Jerry Bocciel. 
to go upstairs and they missed the option. Spencer couldn't get there, the pass was a little hot. Three in transition is no good. Mannion clears up the glass and is fouled in transition. Etienne picks up the personal. Twenty-three points last week. Axel Butiel. The main reason this team led by as many as eleven was Axel Butiel. Had the, an efficiency rating of twenty-four last week. Semi-final first leg game on the road. Mannion off the glass gets the drop for two. All a little, a little bit relaxed. And whatever. Bashir College were doing on the ball, they're not doing it anymore. And Verezzi looking a little bit more comfortable at the offensive end. Shrub looks inside. Kavanaugh back to the basket in the block. Tries to go to work. Gets to the middle. They have to stay one on one. No one can help. Gets a soft drop. If they help off, they will. He will then just kick it to the open shooter. Again, they're getting a lot of joy out the pick and roll. Skyler Spencer with the alley, you catch and finish. A lot of joy out the pick and roll. Last minute and a half is what's been a really up and down first quarter. And Axel Boutier just reminds everybody how good a scorer he is. Mannion, guarded by Shrub. Gets into that mid range, needs a pass. And came down before he had a pass. Real feature of this, this on ball defense. You've got to guard your man one on one. One pass away, you're making every pass tough. And that works if you play this level of on ball defense. Super effort by Bachelet College. Really putting a marker down. There's Boutiel. Gets the de gets the defense off balance. It's just whether or not that right uh, toe is on the line, that's not a good angle to see because his uh, other foot covers it. Need another angle, but I think they're, uh, yeah, they're going to stay, stay with the three. Always a good idea to check. Don't forget this game has a one point margin coming into this second leg. so. Whether it's a two or a three, absolutely crucial. 119 in the half remain. Basha here with a five point advantage and the basketball. And Kell again, who's an absolute nightmare to guard when he gets an opportunity to attack you. So gets to the far side of the ring and is going to have to earn them from the free throw line. Spencer has to foul. Uh, Spencer picks up foul number three. I'm sure he's going to have to sit. And this is where the not wanting to help is a real issue for Varese. They're picking their poison. And the, the way they're picking their poison at the moment is to say, well, we'll take that matchup one on one on the inside. We don't want to leave shooters on the three-point line because of the percentages that uh, 
Basha here normally shoots from the three-point line. I mean, they are so efficient. Sergey <laughs> makes the first. get the second to go. Moretti needs a pass, finds one. A lot of offense on the floor in this last minute. Barbarese, the three is long, not a lot of rebound power. Scrub corrals it in, Kel has it. Could go quick to get the two for one, but I think they're just going to well, oh, they do take the long two, and Axel Butiel is on fire. Butiel gets his uh, full team point on five from seven from the floor, and is just having a half. Mannion's going to kill it. Looks for the last shot of the first half. Mannion puts it on the floor at the mismatch, blows the layup. Scrub from the own foul line, doesn't get it to go. And Bashahir College at the half in the second leg here in Istanbul. Have the 47 for 39. Advantage as uh, Coach Radonic just checks it out with the referees. Let's get a look at the score and the stats of what was a really up tempo first half of this semi final second leg. Bashahir College having 47 to 39 point advantage at the half shooting. Well, they really did cool down from the three point line 29 uh, from the three point line and 67 from two. The race, they got it going, but they're still struggling on the inside. They've only taken nine two-pointers, twice as many threes as twos, and that tells you the one-on-one -on -one quality of Bashir college defense. Everything else, as near as damn it the same, apart from Varese's seven turnovers, which in a close tie like this is a huge factor. So that'll do it for the first half. Bashir College have the half time advantage. One half of basketball left to decide who makes the final of the FIBA Europe Cup. We'll see you soon for the second half.
Well, welcome back to Istanbul, both teams. Been on the floor, been back out on the floor for some time. And as we said, towards the end of that uh, first half, the defensive effort by uh, Bashahir College really did create that fire, that uh, advantage they go into the half hat with. Eight point lead, seven points on the tie. They'll look at that, they're halfway there, half the job done, but it's at the defensive end, the difference between the teams, as it was in the first leg, the team that got the most out of their defense ended up being victorious. And their defense at times in that first half was uh, really exceptionally good. It forces the way they ran their defense. It forces you to take shots you don't really want to take. And uh, Nico Mannion will be disappointed he didn't finish the play at the end of the first half with that layup that he created for himself. But uh, that's what that does to you. So the racing, one, they've got to do a better job themselves on the ball. Two, they have to stay within what they're trying to run. So taking twice as many threes as they have two. And while they're a good three-point shooting team, they've got to get a little bit more in the paint. Got to get a little bit more going to the ring. Russia here, college, pretty much. What they did in the first half, and they will be on the way to the final. But the final little thing to not be sure about is that Neither team have got a lot of consistency in terms of closing games out. Mannion has it. Start of this third quarter. Stops. The deep three is short and looks a little heavy. Defensive rebound pulled in. Taylor has it. And he will get Bashir here. College into the half court. Shrub. We'll move it on. Far side of the ring. Tough. Ooh, but Sell just cleans up the mess on the glass again. 13 personal for the Frenchman. In fact, the two Frenchmen, Boutiel and Boutiel, have 27 of these 49 points. 13 and 14, respectively. Mannion drops it inside, turns it over, recover it. Ready for the three, it's short. Great start to this third quarter at both ends of the floor of Bashahir College. Double digit lead early in the third. But to remind you again, they were here last week and Marezi just reeled them in. Taylor. Ciel. Knocks down that mid range two. He has started to feel that shot. Seventh and ten from the floor. Johnston kicks it. The three, what an answer. Hugo Besson. Oh, sorry, Sean McDermott with the deep three. Three from five from beyond the arc. Tiel, tough runner, doesn't get it to go. Mannion has the rebound and pushes. And his foul being caught. Foul to stop the break is always a frustration. You've got to stay with this now, Marese. Hang tough in the third quarter. Give yourself a chance in the fourth. So down the lane off the glass. Blocked. They keep it alive though. The short runner, Brown, is short. A little bit indecisive. Crazy. I think they're close to needing a timeout right now. Down nine. As you hear College with the basketball. Shrub has it. Pace is dropped a little at the start of the third. Wraps it. Extra pass. See how moves it again. The long two is good. Jerry Boutier. 80% from the floor, and five of those have been deep twos. Mannion, with his feet almost set, turns it down. Moletti finds a little space, tries to manufacture it off the glass. That's great work on the glass. Spencer just 
finding a way to keep the racing ticking over. The great thing about both these ball clubs is they both can score in a hurry. You are never out of sight. Shrub in the lane, has it knocked away. Mannion, chance to run, they have numbers. Goes with a float up, again, indecision. Nico Mannion. Shrub, the three is no good. Great work. Skyler Spencer just out with everyone getting back. Sorry, Gabe Brown. With the three is no good. It's a little bit run and gun at the moment. But that's how both these teams play. Inside touch again. Kavanaugh going to work. Gets to the middle. Spins back. Does he get it to go? We've got to whistle the play. The ball will stay while Basha here college. Like a workhorse out there, there. 19 minutes of playing time he's only one for seven from the floor it's not his offense but his team are plus 12 when he's on the floor both ends of the floor really does a great job on the glass defensive stalwart for this team Kel in the lane makes the pass another field goal Jerry Butziel is carrying the offensive low for Basha here College. Nine from 12 from the floor, 19 points personal. He was putting on a demonstration of how to play that big man role. Timeout for Varese. And if the perimeter defense was the question in the first half, how are they going to find a way to stop Jerry Butziel? Jerry Butziel, 19 points, 9 from 12 from the floor, 9 from 11 from 2 point. He has 6 rebounds to chip into that as well for an efficiency rating of 22. He really has put a marker down on this game. Axel Butiel with 14 points on 5 from 8. Also chips in with a 2 assists. He has an efficiency rating of 17. That's a 39 point efficiency rating between the two Frenchmen. And they really have been incredible. The races just have no one at the moment to counter that output. Mannion is he the man to pick it up in this second half. Great ball movement. The three is way short and no one's on the glass. Worrying is the statement. Worrying for Varese at the moment. Down 11. They're taking the time out. Settled for a three. And Kell has it. Looks to turn the corner every opportunity. Hands it off. Tiel tries to square himself up. Little ball fake, takes the tough threes, way short. Ball falls into the hands of Gabe Brown. Mannion tries to draw contact. We'll have to earn them both from the free throw line. CL picks up his second personal. Well, that is one way to stop him getting into foul trouble. Berke Kandan checks in for Tyler Kavner. And then we... Manuel, 81% free throw shooter across this uh, seven games he's played in the FIBA Europe Cup. Misses the bear and goes 0 for 2. And this is one of those periods in a game where Varese have just got to dig in. Just hang tough for the next few minutes, work their way out of this little trough they're in. Kel has it. 
inside outside pass was poor but shrub reeled it in spins wheels deals is blocked many comes up the chance to run but didn't quite get it foul in transition from Burke Kendan two years ago won this competition with uh, Rashahir College one of the three members of this roster who were on the team in 2022 Tony Taylor steps back in Moretti Moretti gets it back, puts it on the floor, looks to create, does, goes with a poor decision to try and float the pass. Great transition, inside out, they share it. Hits the second side, and there's still 15 on the clock. Taylor stops with separation, can't get it to go. CL can't control the rebound, but he is everywhere. Absolute huge performance by the French big man the number of minutes is not going to be an issue for him always a big minute guy so he puts it on the floor creates off the glass doesn't get it to drop and for a team that averages over 90 points second highest team in terms of points per game in this FIBA Europe Cup competition for raising there is a lid on the hoop at the moment. Inside, outside. Feet set is long from uh, Gutierrez. Comes back to him. Euro steps his way to the lane. Five on the possession. Kel doesn't need a second opportunity to attack it. And why wouldn't, why wouldn't Gutierrez make the two? 21 points personal absolute phenomenal game pick and roll Spencer is fouled on the play Diel takes one for the team you've got to think for Reyes, they need to get this back to single digits before the start of the fourth well, they take the 13-point uh, cushion as an opportunity to take uh, both BTL and BTCL out of the game. Spencer hands it off. Extra pass. The open three in the corner is good. And they just needed that so desperately. McDermott's the man again who knocks down the three. Gets it back to ten. And there's always enough points in that Barese locker to get back into a game. Taylor moves it to the corner. Kell. Step back three is no good. Defensive rebound pulled in. Chance to run. That's going to be an offensive foul. That is how to play transition defense. Just did not give up the lane, Tony Taylor. <laughs> He's going straight back. All the contact in the torso. Just love the way a referee interprets that. That's really rewarding the excellent defensive effort. Contact on the torso. Defense, the offense didn't really make a move to go past him. Literally tried to go through him. Kel. Taylor will move it on Kel who's after in the first half just being a scorer has become provider now makes a tough move to the far side doesn't get the drop blocked Tyler Kavanagh couldn't finish Brown in transition doesn't get the three to go a little hesitation took him out of rhythm could say Verezzi have stopped the bleeding, but they haven't really made an inroad into the double-digit lead here. Got to make some positive game while uh, Gutiel and Gutiel are out the game. The skip the three from Kell. He's way short. Defensive rebound pulled in. Stolen. 
And Taylor says, nope, we've got a full 24 in the half court. Let's take our time. He has it. Anna will take the high ball screen. She tries to turn the corner with that leaning two is no good. Uh, whistle on the foul and Bashir College are in the penalty. So Varese will take the walk for the free throws. Uh, Bruce, Jerry Brutziel is back in. Gets a couple of minutes out of the game. Okay, Panda will sit as Moretti gets the margin down to single digits. How they'd love to go into the half with six, five or six points down. Goes two for two from the line. And he'll take the last minute and 12 on the bench. Mannion checks back in. Eight point game. Crucial moments here. Kell has it. Moves it on. Opens out. But uh, they turn down the opportunity. Kavanagh inside out. Kell will take the ball screen. Gets to the lane. Oh, so easy. Why not? Go to the man that's carried you offensively. No rotation at all from Varese as Buziel just flushes one for two. Mannion beats set off the dribble, is off. And again, just taken out of the rhythm. The closeout made him put it on the floor. And Kel, the third, has it crowd you can see him behind them always celebrating here they think it's done it's nowhere near done Kel has it eight on the possession gets to the foul line turns it over more than enough time to get a shot here then say goes up off the glass gets the follow for two threw it up knew he'd get the rebound and closes it back to an eight point game at the end of the third Low scoring, 12-12, third quarter. And at the end of three, at home, Bashir College have the 59-51 to 51 advantage. They lead it by eight on the night, seven on the tie. And we are still no way of being sure who will make the FIBA Euro Cup Finals. Statistically, Basha here only 20% from the three-point line. 42 and 33, it's the two-point issue for Varese. But how long do they allow, which is the word that I have to use, Jerry Buziel to get unopposed looks? Either they stop it at source and stop the penetration, or they're gonna have to rotate to Bruciel and lead the three-point shooter, but they're only shooting 20% from three. Let's pick your poison time here at the start of the fourth quarter for Varese and coach uh, Bielewski. Dejan Radonic will, his dilemma is, his team are not used to closing out games. They slow down, they become less effective. Only scored 12 points in that quarter. Half of those points were from Jerry Buziel. And he sat down for three minutes while he was on while he was on the bench, they were pointless. He has 23. He gets a lot of help from Axel Butiel. But it's really been the Jerry Buziel show. Two meters seven. 31 now. Yes, he's a veteran, but he's 31 years young the way he's this play. Played 33 minutes and only had 10 points, 12 rebounds in last week's game. He's, on, he's come out here and put on a demonstration. Axel Boutiel back in the game. Boucher Collins go back with the five that started the game. 
and straight away the aggression from Tony Taylor draws the personal on Ulenel. Just gets called reaching. Well, then say wants to take the responsibility of Taylor. Better defense on Bucciel that time. And Axel Bucciel just gets a little minimal separation off the ball screen. It just nails the three. Super pass. Dermott with a tough one, doesn't get it to go, just looks longingly at the official for the foul, not doing. Shrub outside, will move it on. Tiel to Butsiel on the inside, tries to go to work, knows he can back in. Inside, outside, the three is off. And I know what I would prefer to stop in this fourth quarter, it's stopping Butsiel, making him do that. Look to pass it out of the block. We're going to wipe off the two. Ulanio. Threads it through the eye of a needle. The pass is Mannion. Tiel takes one for the team. Tiel picks up foul number three. 17 points personal. He is the ideal foil for his French compatriot. Tiel. Say needs a pass, finds one. Mannion. Delanio. Mannion moves to the corner. And Say has to put up the three and fills it up. Thomas. Well, then Say. Gets his feet set. Nothing but string, and they will not go away. Eight point game. Taylor. Looks to get a little separation, moves it on. Shrub looks down low. They're doing a much better job at fronting down there. Taylor, long, deep three is off. Mannion, great effort to control it. Now he looks to push in transition. Little momentum swing here. Stops, pops, his way short. Ulano picks it up, but loses it on the handle. Shrub stayed active, looks to push. Yeah, we'll get it to Taylor. I'm not, not really share college basketball blocked half court stand still basketball is not them extra pass open three is good back to back threes from Tom of Wallense dragging Verese back into this they trail five timeout for Basha here college game on 752 to go in the fourth place in the FIBA Europe Cup final at stake and for racing with momentum Bashir College with the timeout just feels a little deja vu by Hashir College, so good when they're in rhythm, so good when they play at their tempo and trying to do what you normally want to do, which is manage the tempo of the game, get the shots you want. They just lose their rhythm. They lose their opportunity to play the way they want to play. Turnovers and poor shots and Bereze, as they will do at some, at some points of every game, will make shots and make them quickly. Five point game, crucial timeout. Should really not be about steadying the ship, it's about playing it out our game. Should be the message in that timeout. Taylor, important possession coming out of the timeout. Shrub will move it on. Skyler Spencer back in the game. Where do you go? You take a timeout. And Bootsiel, who has been absolutely phenomenal from that long two-point range, 
can't allow him to catch and get square. Make him do something else. Looking for that same pass. The rotation was there. Roussel is going to pick up the personal. His momentum was going forward. It has to be a foul. So bless you here, Clodge, picking it up. This is like first quarter defense where they really did make life incredibly different for a difficult Volvo Lazy. Five on the clock. They have to settle for the top three and knock it down. Four-point game. McDermott just filled it up, took the responsibility for the deep three. And McDermott goes to 15 personal. Five from 10 from the floor. And has made some big, big shots. Shrub. Ritzel wants it. They're still going to leave uh, Spencer playing one-on-one. -on -one. Bucciel inside outside Taylor goes back to him two on the clock step back two is short Mannion hunts it down but can't collect it new full team oh Basha here college shrub moves it on inside touch again they are going to this well inside out mishandle the heave from the halfway line is no good and Barese hammer home the advantage. Radonich will go to the bench. He will bring Curl back. Taylor will sit. Four point game, 6 12 to go. Place in the FIBA Europe Cup final. Here's the prize. Mannion has it. And will try to get. Can't leave him alone, Mannion. He'll make one, he'll make three or four. Well, then say they're going to call the offensive foul as he makes the three. Spence is going to be called for the moving screen. Let's take a look. There you go. Just walked into curl. And Ward then say, having made his last two threes, bitterly disappointed. Would have made it a one-point game with six to go. Kel. Who will play the most defense? No one's going to stop people completely. Just got to force people to take tough ones. Wide open three. Feet set. Missed three. McDermott. Handles. Needs a pass. Finds one. Well then say gets it back to Mannion. Ten on the possession. Mannion attacks it in traffic. Wide open in the corner. Is good. We are tied on the tie. One point game on the night. Five to go. There is some tension in this gym. And again, Basha here called slow down. The team that is so fluid. Kel attacks it, puts up a tough one. Mannion tries to hunt it down, and there's a team, they get it. McDermott stops, pops, knocks down the three. Time out, Basha here, college. The race are on a roll here. Lead by two on the tie, on the night, three on the tie. Ladonich takes a timeout. He has a problem. His team are not the same team that played the first half. You could say a team that struggles to know how to win is struggling to know how to win this one. Go back to what worked go back to a style that was is your way of playing has to be the message the only worry for Varese they may have done this a little too soon but they lead it by two little disbelief on the traveling fans Six minutes away from making their second FIBA Europe Cup final. They made the first one in 2016. They lost. 
they have a chance to go back to the final right now. Well, we said it after the last time out. Key possessions here for Baja here College. Cavana turns it over. There's a whistle on the play. Lenio McDermott. Great defense. McDermott just held his space. Tyler Cavanagh. A little out of control. They went to the post up. Where is that slick ball movement gone? For Basha here College. Mannion. Great rotation. Defense. Kavanaugh makes it up at the defensive end. Wide open. Kel for three is long. Taylor finds it. ETL for three. Knocks it down. Ties the tie. Makes his 20th point of the night. Mannion will take the ball screen. Needs a pass. Gets it back. Nine on the possession. Likes the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Comes off the ball screen. Needs a pass. Dermot for three. Doesn't get it to roll. Inside, outside. Had a look. Didn't drop. Taylor. They're going to try and post Butiel up here. They go away from him, though. Taylor comes off the handoff. Butiel will roll. Taylor, hesitation. Inside, outside. Kel, wide open. Three is good. That's the team that moved the ball, that penetrated, that kicked. And lead it by four. Bereze will take the timeout. Game on. Where did Varese go? Mannion has really, after a reasonable start, Nico Mannion, two for ten. Statistically, he's gone one from seven again from the three-point line, exactly where he was last week. But he's too good a player to not make shots in this stage of the game. He just needs to get it. And when he does, when it is his turn, when it is his option, just take the shots he wants in with him. McDermott has had a six from eight game from the three-point line. Absolutely phenomenal performance for Sean McDermott. But he's the only one him and Thomas Wardense would have been good from the three-point line for the Italian club. Here they go then after the timeout. Moletti checks back in. Mannion has it. A lot of offense on the floor here for Varese. Wardense goes it, attacks it, gets inside, inside out. Mannion, five on the possession, takes the tough three, is short. He's been short literally all night from the three-point line. Had to take the tough one. Here's Taylor. While they don't need to take early shots, they've got to play at tempo. Taylor gets a reposition. Gutiel dives deep. They don't give him a look. Taylor for the three. is good. Tony Taylor. Back-to-back -back threes for Bashahir College. One down to six up, a 7-0 run. 
Moretti in the lane is fouled, gets the drop. Well, the shooter made the smart decision. It's not going for him. He attacked it, draws contact, finishes the play. Chance to make this a four-point game. There's the contact. Great control to finish it off the glass. Kell with the personal. Moretti on the three throw line. 84% free throw shooter shoots it like an 84% free throw shooter. Tony Taylor. Big moments, big player time here. Again, they go away from Butziel. They're not looking inside at all at the moment. Butziel will roll. They still don't give him a look. Puts it off the glass for two. Taylor, so controlled, gets the two. Mannion has it. Nico Mannion goes looking for it. Great defense by Taylor. What I say in the corner for three is no good. Six point lead, 144. Did Verezzi make that run a little too soon? Need a stop right now. 130 remains. Taylor. And Kell in the backcourt. Kell has it. Needs a pass. Finds one. Kavanagh penetrates. Off the glass. Is blocked. They're going to call it good. Right at the bottom of the shot clock. Tyler Kavanagh only gets his second field goal. And what a time to get it. I think they're uh, challenging the basket interference call. The Verezzi need to come down. They don't need to take a bad one. Let's take a look at the replay. Balls out. Are they saying that it already hit the backboard? Let's have a look. It's, I have no idea from where I'm sitting. The officials will have multiple angles to check this one. Great decision, deep in the clock for Kavanaugh to go to the ring. Releases the basketball. That hits, that hits the backboard. Great call by the official. You watch this, it's gonna hit the backboard before Brown gets a piece. Backboard, piece. Fractions of seconds, millimeters in fact, as well. Basket is good. Verese, 121. More than enough time left for this to change. Nico Magnus, one from eight from the three point line. Tony Taylor will give him nightmares. He's been all over him, both ties, both legs of this tie. That's a blocking foul. And Verezzi will go to the free throw line. Clock 
clock stops, obviously. And they have the chance to cut this to a six-point game, a two-possession game on the tie and on the night. Simply have to make the throws. David Moretti, 84% across the FIBA Europe Cup season on the free throw line. Gets the roll for the first. The Racers still have two fouls to give here. You'd expect them to be up the floor. Two for two for Moretti. Six point game, five point margin on the tie. Berese up the floor. Taylor, guarded by Moretti, gets it over the timeline and is fouled. It's one of the fouls to give, gone. Really get a stop now, gets them right back in it. Gutierrez will hand it off to Taylor. You'd want it in Taylor's hands. He's made great decisions in the last three minutes of this game. Taylor penetrates, full fakes, makes the pass. BTL for three, is short. And Mannion has it. Looks to attack it. Gets inside, takes a tough one. Gotta say, poor decision. Foul on the play to stop the clock. Nico Mannion, one on two. Had shooters. There's the foul. McDermott alive to the situation. Actually, here, College bring in Phil Scrub. Go with three guards on the floor. Four guards, in fact, on the floor, plus Gutierrez. Six point game, five points on the tie. 37 seconds remain. Need a stop. Need a stop. Do not need to foul. They need to stop. Almost get the steal. But Taylor has it. Needs a pass. Finds it. Scrub turns down the open one. Is fouled. 11 seconds into the possession. Maybe if you were going to foul, should have been earlier. But Shrub took the foul. We'll go to the free throw line. Eighty-five percent free throw shooter. I know that percentages mean very little with twenty-six seconds to go in the game. But Shrub, solid from the free throw line. He goes two for two. Eight-point game. Timeout, they'll advance the basketball. But now it's a mountain. And a huge mountain to climb. Seven point margin on the tie. They need a quick. Uh, it's a three possession game on the tie. Not quite a miracle, but it's not far off it. Tony Taylor has been absolutely phenomenal at both ends of the floor in the last three minutes here. Points and the pressure he has put Nico Mannion under has got his team over the line. Just tremendous performance by Taylor in these last few minutes to close the game out. The 33 year old veteran Only had three points fouled out last week in the loss in Italy. It's almost over the line. He only has five points on the game tonight, but all five of those have been in the last three minutes of the game. Seven assists for Tony Taylor. Just incredible game. Seven assists, as I say. Just great point guard performance. McDermott gets it. 
He's gonna have to put it up. Puts it on the floor, gets to the lane, spins, wheels, deals, gets the two. And Bahashir College will take the timeout. Six point game, two possession game, five point game on the tie. There's more than enough time here for Varese to get steals and scores, but it's a mountain. Coach Ledonic will draw it up. If he takes it out of bounds and goes to full court, he doesn't have to shoot the basketball. He has more space and more control, but he is bringing it in at the, uh, the defensive end for him. With 20 seconds to go, there's a lot to be said for advancing it. Because even if you turn it over, they've still got to go down the floor and score. This comes down to coaches knowing their teams and knowing how well they'll inbound the basketball. A foul will come at some point if they don't steal the first pass. The raise eight. They're only five down on the tie. A stop and a score, or a steal and a score makes it a one possession game and then you're into fouls and misses and makes here we go then 20 seconds left of this semi-final tie Turkish club on the verge of a chance to make the championship game two years after they won it in 2022. Shrub has it, they move it on. They don't foul, wide open. They've got to let it run out now. They can't foul now. They're gonna to have to, now they foul and there's only 9.7 and 3.4 on the clock. If you're going to foul, you have to foul sooner. And you fouled an 85% free throw shooter. And Phil Shrub, if he makes one, it's done. Two. It's the final dagger to the heart. And Bushahir College will make it to the FIBA Europe Cup final. What a great, great achievement and performance. He makes both. <laughs> Ahmed Yilmaz checks in for the first time. Mannion has it. Stops, puts up the three and shoots the air ball. Which unfortunately for Nico Mannion just sums his night up. But Bashahir College, Coach Lenonich, takes his team to the final of the FIBA Europe Cup. They win it 81-73 on the night. They win the tie by seven. Bereze come up short, but wow, they got close. But Bashahir College are in the FIBA Europe Cup final. Super game of basketball, super performance by Bashahir College. The fans have come out and they're going to celebrate in Istanbul. They'll have to wait to see who they play. It will be an upset of all upsets if Phil Bow come back and win. They're currently lead it by three. That's not going to be enough. And then at the half in Germany. But what we do know is Bashahir College have an 81-73 win over Varese and make it to the FIBA Europe Cup final in 2024. Gonna get a look at the numbers. The ones that matter are the 81 and the 73. They still only shot 27% from the three-point line. A team that shoots over 40% on the season. Varese, 36 three-point attempts, 22 attempts from inside. 
is never is really going to stretch their ability to get it done. Everything else is pretty tight, except you're going to have a look at the turnovers in a moment. 13 turnovers for Varese was probably the undoing of them. Tony Taylor in shot literally managed his team over the line, had not scored until the last two minutes of the game. Made a three and a two. Until that point, Jerry Butziel had carried his team at the offensive end. Tremendous, tremendous performance. Butziel had an efficiency rating of 34, 24, five points, 11 rebounds, chipped in with an assist. Sean McDermott did everything he could, 20 points the other way. But from Istanbul, as Bashir here College make the FIBA Europe Cup final, 92% got him over the line from the three-point line. Just a tremendous performance by the Turkey club. They will be in the final. Varese come up short in the semi-final from Istanbul. From a night of great drama, great passion with the crowd, Bashir here College are the finalists of the FIBA Europe Cup in 2024. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you soon for more action. But for now, goodbye from Istanbul.